Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to optimize post-tensioned concrete slabs in RAM concept. In this video, we are going to be focusing on the process for modeling your profile polylines in preparation for optimization. For our particular model, our distributed tendon layout is located in the longitude direction. In any optimizable objects, including your profile polylines, must be placed on the tendon parameters layer. And you can see we're already in that layer. We are now ready to start modeling our profile polylines. And we're going to create our profile polylines manually using the profile polyline icon. I'm going to start by double clicking on this icon so I can enter the parameters. Now once in this dialog, I'm going to start with the general tab and decide which profile polylines I'm going to be creating at the moment. First, I'm going to start with my support polyline. So I'm going to enter my profile location and then enter its elevation. I'm going to specify mine with reference to the top cover at an elevation of 1.25 inches. Next, let's select the optimization tab. Now you have the option to either optimize your profile polylines or manually specify their location. For this particular model, we're going to choose to manually specify the location for our support polylines while allowing the program to optimize the location for our span polylines. We'll go ahead and discuss that decision a little further towards the end of this video. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and unselect the Optimize option. Once I've entered in all of my parameters, I'm going to start by clicking OK. And then I'm ready to start creating my support polylines. Now, just as we took care when creating our distributed tendon quadrilaterals, I'm going to try, whenever possible, to ensure all of my optimizable objects are within my slab edge to avoid using excess ACUs or adding to my computation time. So I'm going to create a support polyline first along grid lines 3 and 5 for my main 12 inch thick concrete slab. I'm going to create my first point, right click and hit enter. Then I'm going to complete this process for grid line 5. Next, I'm going to take a look along grid line 4, and this time I'm going to extend my support polyline through all the way to the slab depression. Again, when I'm finished, right click and hit enter. Now that I've created all of my support polylines, I'm ready to define my parameters for my span polylines. So I'm going to return to the same tool I was just using, double click, and then I'm going to tell the program I'm now working on my span polylines. Let's go ahead and enter their elevation with reference to the bottom cover at 1.25 inches. Next, I'm going to return to the optimization tab. And this time, I'm going to go ahead and select the optimize checkbox. I'm going to enter a minimum elevation for my particular model as 1 inches with a maximum elevation of 7 inches. Once I've specified all the parameters, I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to draw my span polylines at grid, in, grid lines 2.5, 3.5, 4.5, and 5.5 for this particular model. Again, I'm going to try, whenever possible, to click to my edge of slab. Now what you're going to notice as you add your span polylines to the model, that RAM concept, does indicate support polylines using a solid line and span polylines using a dashed line to make it easier for you to identify. Now let's take a look at our profile polyline layout and discuss a few of the features that I want to draw your attention to. The first is at the edge of slabs. Now you're going to notice that I didn't create any additional support polylines um, adjacent to the edge of slabs along those grid lines. 
Now RAM concept will automatically place the distributed tendons at the mid depth of the slab, basically whenever the tendons exit the slab. This can occur at slab edges or also at slab openings. Now, if the mid depth of the slab is not appropriate or not quite what you're looking for, you may want to create some additional support polylines at those locations. This could be especially applicable if you have something like perhaps a drop cap or a deep perimeter beam along your edge of slab. If you don't want the tendons to exit at the mid depth of that drop cap or perimeter beam, rather at the mid depth of the main slab, you can create some additional support polylines to ensure that that happens. Let's also take a look at our support polylines versus our span polylines. Now for this model, we have manually specified the location of the distributed tendons at the support locations, while we have requested that RAM concept optimize the location of the distributed tendons at the span locations. Now to keep the reinforcement details standard and for ease of construction, the tendons typically placed at maximum drape over the columns and wouldn't be optimized. One exception to this rule um, might be at cantilevered supports where the tendons are often lowered for load balancing purposes. In that case, the support polylines may be lowered and optimized. So to keep the details standard and for ease of construction, we have chosen to place the tendons at the maximum drape over the columns and allow them to be optimized at their span locations. Now that we've created our profile polylines, there's one additional tool that you may find helpful. And I'm going to take a look at this tool for the purposes of our profile polyline that goes through our opening. As we've mentioned, to conserve ACUs and decrease your analysis time, it is best practice to ensure that all your optimizable objects are located within a slab. And you can see here, I do have a profile polyline that goes through a slab opening. You may also have found it more convenient perhaps to, instead of click to your slab edges, click to some outside boundary like a grid intersection. Say for example, I had modeled this profile polyline this way going out to the grid intersections. Well, I can ask REM concept to go ahead and trim those polylines or those objects back to the edge of slab for me if it's easier to click somewhere outside the slab boundary. Now to start the process for asking RAM concept to trim one of your profile polylines, you're first going to start by selecting that object, which we've already done. Next, you're going to go to your layer specific toolbar and you're going to find the tool to adjust your profile polyline. Let's go ahead and click on that and I can enter some information. This happens to be a span polyline and I'm going to ask it to trim to slab edges and then delete any objects outside the slab edge. Once I've entered that information, I can go ahead and click OK. And then we're going to see what's going to happen. Basically, let me select the other side. It trimmed that profile polyline. It considered the opening. And it trimmed back anything outside the edge of slab. You might find this tool helpful to speed up your modeling process. Now this concludes our process for modeling our optimizable profile polylines for a distributed tendon layout in RAM concept. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.